Uh, we had a uh, 13.4% rate of return in the S&P 500 last year. We're up uh, close to 16.5% uh, uh, this year, so it's been a nice run up. But on a valuation basis, uh, the market still seems uh, relatively uh, attractive. I mean, when you look at uh, price earnings ratios, let's say based on earnings that we expect this year, we look at price earnings ratio that are just a little bit above uh, 15, and that is assuming about $109 for the S&P 500 uh, in terms of earnings. The market is actually looking for a little bit more than that, about 110. Uh, and given that the historical average over the last 15 years uh, is uh, about 16.4, uh, these uh, numbers uh, suggest to me that while the market is not likely to move in a straight line between now and the end of the year, uh, I think uh, we can still justify 8 to 10 percent uh, rates of return uh, every 12 months uh, given these valuations. Well, I think the Fed certainly is uh, trying to be very careful uh, not to rock the boat too much, but at the same time uh, really add a little bit more uh, certainty, uh, perhaps a little bit more realism. Uh, we know that the Federal Reserve has been very active. Uh, buying $85 billion worth of mortgage-backed securities and treasuries every month. Everyone knows they can't do that forever. And, and so the Fed is trying to engineer a, a smooth transition. My suspicion is that they will uh, do that transition as smoothly as possible, but the transition will take place. I think the debate is going to take a more of an academic tone. I think they will be talking about all the tools that are currently on the table with regard to monetary policy, not only here, but uh, also globally. We know that central banks around the world are certainly using unconventional tools, whether it be Japan with aggressive quantitative easing, to some extent, some of that at the Bank of England, and now the European Central Bank introducing the concept of forward guidance along with the uh, Central Bank uh, of England. So I think all these things are certainly going to be on the table, but they're going to be more academic in nature rather than uh, specifically more policy oriented.